how to get into airsoft, this is a uh, all of my gear, pretty much. This is it. Get some camouflage clothes. Uh, whatever works for your area. Um, this is my method of protection. I think this is the best method of protection, as you can stop 650 FPS BBs. Apparently, uh, this thing. I shot it with a uh, .20s and it's rotten. Um, what's that number? About like 460. Because I did some shit to this thing. Um, so you don't get BB fragments. Just stick one of these visor things in there. Works like a charm. You don't get shit in your eye. I mean, it, it goes in there a little bit asymmetrically, but um, you just get to get the right one off Amazon. I put the I put it in there wrong too. Um, 0.28, as um, people are gonna call their hits with a 0.28, as it doesn't require any velocity for someone to hear it or feel it. Uh, here, so I'll, I'll show you. I'll show you this and stuff. I could got a 0.20 right there. There's a definite difference between one and the other. Right? Right? Is this a fucking 2.8? That's not 2.8. Oh. Uh, Alright, you got that. Hit the metal. Com big difference. Whatever. You, you, you get my point. People feel two eight more, so you need like two shots to get someone down, all right. And plus, there's this this, this, this phenomenon of uh, people not calling their hits, and that's um that's mainly caused by people using two O's, because you don't feel shit at two hundred feet with a two O. If your gun can reach two hundred feet, you you shouldn't be using two O's, man. You should be using two eights, at, at least two fives. Hell, two weights past 60 feet are actually faster than two O's just because they decelerate so slowly. Now, what I run is an AP and uh, an AK. Uh, AK because they're better than M4s in every single way for airsoft. I mean, in real life, this is better than M16. Like, just so you know. The M16 did so many fucking problems and shit for some reason. I don't really know why, but uh, I've always hear about um, those things never being reliable. My uh, my friend's mom used to work in Germany, like in an Air Force base. Not Air Force base. I'm having a stroke. In the military base, and she would get like uh, she would get like this this. Uh, like administration work down and she did like uh, check like weapons caches and do like checks on them and, and, and you, you, you know what I mean it was a job there and um you know she said M16s weren't reliable I'll take her word for it but um there's a main reason why I like these a lot more than M4s it's because of the fact that Look at this magazine capacity, right? 550 rounds in this thing, maybe even 600, I'm not really sure. And that kind of helps with this because you, lead, you need less shots with uh, two eights. Very few less shots. So you don't have to run it right. You just have a single high cap. That's all you use. I painted my rear sight white because that works very well. Um, glued it in place so it doesn't wobble side to side. See how my gun's going down? I put some. Uh, uh, hot glue right here. This is super glue. Uh, I put some hot glue right here on this part so it doesn't wobble either. But very nice. The only part that does wobble is this. I chose Sima because it was the best deal possible. <laughs> and by the best deal, sorry, it's like 1 o'clock. By, by best deal, I mean um, I got this whole thing for 138 bucks. Uh, a bear stop mega store. Yeah, it is promotional. I'm sorry. 
but it, it they, they have good deals there, okay? They have the best deals for airsoft guns there. Unless you want to buy straight from Sima somehow. If someone got a hold of Sima, you you could probably get a good a better deal. But so far this is as good as it is gonna get. Hundred and thirty eight bucks for this thing. Comes with M one twenty in it, shoots sucking four forty out of the box. Beast. Beastly gun. This will stay above four hundred FPS. I mean, I don't really see what, what the problem with that would be, as you have the same range, and it's, it, it, it doesn't even hurt that much more. You know, it's, it's nothing wrong with it. Because it goes down to like 415, maybe even like 420, four, definitely not 430. 430 is an M1, uh, M1 30 spring. These high caps, uh, you're supposed to not keep them wild. And sometimes they got some BBs that come out like that, but um, you you keep these things unwound for as long as you possibly can. That's the secret to their longevity. Um, what I do is as soon as I start here, you just hear me shooting. I start winding. Works every fucking time, man. Every time, unless you're like nothing, you just want to rush in. Uh, you just still wind before game. Um. Hey, keys are a lot more durable than M4s. Have a version three gearbox. Unless you want to spend 180 bucks on this weird uh, DMR thingy that uh, I don't know, this, this guy on the forum called Googes recommends, and it has like this V2 large cylinder and it's like the best cylinder in, in, in the world or some shit. I don't fucking know. And I don't know if that was compatible with it, but uh, I, 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 I'd still run an AK because this thing still costs less than that. It's, it's still working for me, so uh, here, here I'm going to show you the parts that are better. Uh, you got the 455 millimeter barrel, which is about as accurate as barrels get. You got the 500 millimeter, but it's not only really that much of a noticeable difference between that and a 455. So this this is a good length, very good length, especially for a hop up. Um, and on the note of hop up, AKs have better hop ups. See that? It's a, it's a one, two, three, um, yeah, it's a three piece, three piece hop up. You got this thing, it's a, it's a, it pushes the thing down back here, and the uh, thing that's down there. Fuck. It, it pushes the little thing down because it's slanted. You, you just Google, look it up, look up how, how that shit works. It's very simple. Very foolproof. You have sights that are actually meant for the distance you're engaging at. You um have your motor which is secure in your grips. I don't really know what that does. I think that's an upside. The uh, magazine stays in uh, very well. You can't take this thing out without breaking it. Um, what I like wood. I really do. You could customize that thing. And it, it's actually noticeable and like M4 customizing. It looks like you stuck a bunch of shit on it. I got this from eBay for like 30 bucks. It's a flashlight and laser. It does absolutely nothing. I could play worse with it. Uh, that's basically, basically how it is. Uh, what else? What else is there? Fucking. Hmm. I don't know if there's a different one that I was going to, uh, potato. Oh yeah, better takedowns, yeah. Um, this takedown is initiated, uh, I mean, it's pretty hard for me now, because I did this right here. But you take out this lever, the, the, the piston, the, the gas piston release lever, you flip it and this thing comes up like that, and then you take this thing and you just, like, flip this thing up back here, or your little thing. Like, you, you see this right here? Yeah, there's a thingy back here. You're supposed to turn it, and it allows the uh, removal of this part right here. When you push forward, you pop this pin out, and then unscrew it. It's, it's, it's very simple, and it's completely pull, full proof. Because when you get an, an M4 that is this cheap, uh, you, you can't really expect that good, that, that reliable thing. I mean, sure, it's a bit complex, 
but there's no possible way you could screw it up. No possible way. Lever, pop it off, right? Switch. Take this thing out. Forgot, forgot about that. Take this thing out like this. Okay, right? you take it out. And um, you see a little pin right there? You go on the other side like this. And uh, you just ram it in after um, removing this wood, that lever thing. Unscrew it. Done. Completely done. Of course, you got to remove the magazine, but you sure already know how to do that. I mean, the only weird part is uh, the magazine. It is an alpha, but that's um, easily done. Check it out. Now you don't have any obstruction, and you can line it up perfectly and screw it in perfectly. Most people don't know how to do that. Um, I dropped this in countless times. It works like a charm, man. This thing works like a charm. Uh, the magazine is like a year old. It's like slightly degrading and stuff. Um, I can hear this. You hear that? Uh, that is inconsistent. Still worth the charm. I haven't explained this yet. This is here to um, put on your head when you wear that, because when you wear that, you don't have a big enough head for it, which most people don't, obviously. That's a fucking melon thing right there. Um, it wobbles, and this um, keeps it from wobbling. That's, that's all you need. That's all you need. I don't. This is optional right here. You don't need this. I need a gun. Uh, this thing, right? A holster for it, obviously. That mask, two eighths. That thing. No rig, no 40 magazines. That's 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 that. Um, also, there's there's a reason why I run this too. Um, I run on the field, not not in CQB. So if you're doing CQB, uh, be, be my guest. I'm pretty sure all you need for CQB is this this. Seriously, shit's easy. I, I fucking smoke people in CQB. Um, I, I run this because um, you don't have to run on gas, so you don't have to pay for it, right? I mean, pay for electricity, but you don't pay for a lot of it. But, um, yeah, I try to do something dumb. Um, can you move the slide? I made it hard on purpose by putting a little bit of tape right there because I don't want this thing coming off because without this tape it's very easy to take this thing off. Basically you sit you sit your battery right here and basically uh, it will never run out of battery. I did I did charge it just because I thought we'd go to the field but it turns out my fucking field shit's like postponed and shit you, you, you know. Problems. <laughs> Um, sites are garbage. I mean, you, you can you can use these. You really can, but you don't you don't need to use them. So I don't really think that needs modification. Um, it fires at 15 rounds per second. Very good fire rate, and that's when the battery doesn't even have that much charge. Like you don't you don't need a lot of charge for that for some reason. Um, 30 round magazine, full. Semi, right? I, I keep it on full because I do a little burst. Doot doot, doot doot. Um, 
thing weighs a bit. It's like one and a half pounds. And get fucking used to it, fag. <laughs> get used to it. It's, it's not that bad. It's, it's a big pistol. It's a big wide pistol. Maybe that hurts with aiming, but you just go <laughs> and go. You, you gotta hit. And he's like, I'm dead. Um, it's 200 FPS. I don't see why you need anything over a hundred is the point too. Simply because you're fighting in such fucking close ranges, and if you, if you know you you can't hit anyone with your pistol, you, you, there's this thing. No, there's there's this thing right here. There, there's this thing. Yeah, you use this instead. <laughs> Get your own holster. Make it, or or buy it. And see what the problem here is. I'm use two O's. You get some of those. Uh, Thunder BBs. One of my favorite brands of all time. Simply because this is like fucking fifteen bucks. I think fifteen. Shit, no, it's like twelve bucks. And that's that's with free shipping. Get it off Amazon. Two O's. Five thousand. Best deal ever. How many times I fucking shot them? They, they work better than Elite Force, trust me. So much better. Um, that's about it. Uh, really, it, it's minimalist. This is a minimalist sport, and you sure don't want to spend that much money. I, I'm saying that with that scope over there, but that's because I'm upgrading my gun. I'm not telling you how I'm doing it, but let's just say it involves a scope. Um, a new upper thing, and it actually somehow works very well with the wood and the fucked up metal. Just even even though it's polymer, it looks really good. Trust me. I spray painted it. You know, I got a miracle barrel. Mm. I'm gonna make a new video and show you guys the range on this thing after I do upgrade it. But I'm not like saw down the barrel because a 500 millimeter. I don't want to under volume my gun. But um, yeah, this thing this thing already is a beast. Uh, I currently have a damaged battery because uh, I don't I don't I'm really shitty at charging things. So that black one in there that that stock, it's um yeah I don't keep a thing on there. I lost it somehow. You, you don't really need it. The batteries do not fall out unless you just fucking. You, like, like, you know, swing this thing, which you're not going to do. Um, but yeah. Yeah, you say it's your, it's your damage battery is doing arms per second. Um, the Velcro doesn't actually work. You know why? Hear that? That's not sneaky at all. Don't do that. Uh, but I, I'd get something else for you, like some sort of different strap. Uh, I, it's not that hard to get them, as uh, you own an M16 or something. Uh, you can find these um, these things that come in the boxes, and they're uh, they're nylon strap things, and they like wrap around something like this, and it like it works perfectly. And it's hooked on there, done. One of the greatest things. And if you uh, can't do that. Use yourself one of these. I might do that. I don't know. I might have. I gotta like show you guys doing me doing it. There we go. So yeah, I'm gonna have to cut this thing, or how about this? Tuck it in. Yeah, it is a box of stupid shit. I just throw my stuff in it. 
Rhino and Legos. Deal with it. They're from like 2006. Yeah, still have stuff with them. Those are pretty baller. And that's as far as I'm going to go. You, you get the idea. Just, just get something. Get something. It, it works. It works. It's not too bad. I mean, you got this thing here, but I had to... Mine came all fucked up. Um, like the, uh, this thing, the little hinge thing that went on. This thing was just completely fucked. Completely fucked. I did not trust it. I eventually fixed it, but I have no idea where it's at. I have this single screw right here, which is uh, which actually goes to it. Like, look, I got it. So, and now it works. So, uh, I got every single thing for, for that thing. All three, all three parts, two screws, and the what you would call it metal thing goes over, but I can't find the fucking hand. So, yeah. And also, these things don't work with SEMA filled mouth, ironically. So, it's, 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 it's kind of a pain. But, if you do want to get a rail or some sort of accessory because you're a piece of shit, if you can't use a fucking iron sight, you, 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 you lazy cunt, then you get something that's railed for that. A big fucking deal. If it doesn't fit, you sand it to fit. That's what I did. It, it was completely off. Um, it, it was actually a little bit too short too. You know, I did. I stuck some spacers between the uh, the wood and the, uh, the 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 polymer. Worked like a charm. Things didn't wobble for shit. And also, you don't need to wear gloves unless you're doing like Uber, CQB, or people aim for hands because they're dicks. Um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know. Seriously, I haven't been shot in the hand once in all my fucking one and a half years of playing at the field every fucking Sunday. Not Sunday, uh, Sunday? No, Sunday. Yeah, every single Sunday. And also, this is this works very well with the pistol, simply because um, you um, you don't have to carry your rifle and like try to hide the pistol and shit and like whip it out for the last one, which is what I do. You know, I, I try to act like I'm on their side for a little bit. Pure confusion is the funniest thing. They're like, what a minute? And the guy, the guy comes around the corner, he's all tactical and shit, and he's like pointing his guns, like, I'm gonna get you. You know, and you just go, and you hit. And then, oh, there's like a, the respawn timer thingy, and you're supposed to wait like 40 seconds. Try shooting in the back. Oh, it's like bang bang. I'm like no, I'm gonna shoot your whole team before you respawn. Then I'm gonna walk back to my spawn before you can shoot me. And they get mad, and it's pretty funny. I've gotten countless fucking fights. It's the funniest thing. But um, yeah, I'm not gonna give you all of my tactics, and all of my secrets. But just so you know, I know a modification you could do to these things that uh, you can get a 400 FPS gun to hit 280 feet with 28 in a like a maple leaf barrel or a miracle barrel. So um, that is the end of the video.